All right, boys and girls, welcome, welcome to Garden Guitar. We have Omale here with some good vibes, a song called Moving. All right, so Omale has been there before on Garden Guitar as a single artist, but also in different collabs. Great artist here, Moving. It's a nice song, so I thought we need to cover it here on GG. Let's take a look at this one, and we have four chords that goes in the same order through the entire song. Let's take a look at them. So we're gonna start with E minor. We're gonna add an extra note down there. So E minor goes like this. Open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and third E. This third E is normally not there, but for this song it is, so that is E minor. And for next chord, this is a B minor. You have a bar chord here where you play the bar on the second fret. You don't have to bar the last E string, uh, and uh, but the five strings below you have to. And I just thought in my head you could bar the, the last E string as well. It's not a crime, but you're not gonna use that for the strumming. So the actual chord looks like this without the E string. All right, so that mentioned, we're gonna bar the second fret five strings and then you need to add fourth on D, fourth on G, and third on B. Next chord is C. So it goes third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E, and the final chord is D. And that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. Okay, so we're gonna look at the strumming now. So if you go to the first chord, the E minor, one string you're gonna run goes like this. Okay, so it's first down, up, clap, down. a short pause and then down clap that's it so down up clap down down clap okay so that is how you play the strumming. You're gonna play one strumming around per chord now. So you're gonna play E minor one, B minor one, C one, and D one, like this. And that is one round. You're gonna play like this from the beginning till the very end. Now, I wanna highlight the notes that are important for this song. If you could um, like uh, highlight them in your strumming, and that would be great. So for E minor, you have the open E string, of course, the bass, but also the third fret E string, the high E. That's the reason for having that note added for it. So when you play these notes I'm gonna mention for you now, you're gonna try to build them in into the strumming. How? Yeah, you play like this. So the first down, you play a little more on the bass string. So down and then up, you play the note, the high note down here. In this case, the third fret E string. So bass top, then comes the clap, and then comes down again on the bass strings, and then comes down clap, and that down you play on the high string, and then clap. So it's basically all these downs and ups. It will be down, up, clap, down, down, clap. You're gonna play a note at every down and up here. So you're gonna alternate the first down you play on the bass strings, then up on the high string, then comes the down after the clap, bass again, and then the final down you answer with the high string. So that is how you build in this melody or these notes into the strumming. So I mentioned the E minor, it's the open E string and third high E. For B minor, you have the second fret A string as the bass notes and the high string will be third fret B string. So, okay. So then for C, you will have the third fret A string as the bass note. And the high E, e, e string open is the 
other note you want to emphasize. So, And for D, you have the open D string as the bass note. And the high string will be 2nd fret E. And that is how you build in. So if you listen carefully, I try to highlight the notes for E minor, for B minor, for C, and for D, and this drumming, like this. Cool, huh? So that is how you handle omelets moving. Good luck with this one, guys. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to support me here on Growing Guitar. Till next time, play tuned.